with facilitation, it's like, okay, we don't know what's going to come up in the room. You might get a curveball. You might get something that doesn't immediately fit into the, <clears throat> excuse me, into the framework that you have in your head for how this information is delivered. And so there's a, there's a bit of an improv yes. And quality thing. Like you don't know the steps, you don't know what's going to come. And that's the beauty of it. Versus teaching where it's like, okay, everybody comes into the classroom. We all sit down. Yeah, sure. Maybe we do a little like grounding exercise or whatever, but then we're like into the information and there will be times, especially if you are leading people through a longer experience where you may toggle between teaching and facilitating. And with coaching, again, there's overlap, right? So teaching and facilitation overlap, coaching and facilitation, there's overlap. So with coaching, the way I tend to approach it is, you know, there's an outcome that the client wants, there's a direction, there's like skills they're wanting to learn, they're wanting guidance. There is also this sort of stance we hold that the client has the inner wisdom, like we are helping them access the inner wisdom. So that's a similarity with facilitation, that there's an inner experience that they're having that's far more important than anything that I can provide as a coach. But as a coach, I am being more directive. I am being more like, let's do this exercise. Let's notice what comes up. Okay, how can you apply that to your life? And it's a little bit more outcome oriented. It's a little bit more agenda driven by the client. Whereas teaching is sort of agenda driven by me as the teacher. Coaching is agenda driven by the client. And with facilitation, it's let, just less agenda driven, right? We're here to have an experience. We're here to access what's in there. If we if we do this thing, if we play this game, if we do this practice, if we play, if we try this exercise, what emerges? What curiosity can we bring? And so there's a lot of overlap in the listening and the curiosity and the, you know, providing instructions to experiment with a practice or with a with a game. But it's um it's a more open field, I would say, with facilitation. Mm -hmm.